Greetings and salutations guys, Mike from Urban Automotive in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Here today answering a question from one of our customers. And the question was simply, why does oil in my engine have an expiry, but oil in bottles on the shelf in the store does not? Um, I think what the customer is asking in that question is we have, uh, as most um, service providers uh, dealerships and others um, have an expiry date, meaning get your oil changed in the next 5,000 kilometers or four months. Um, there's a very simple reason for this. Um, new oil that is in containers manufactured starts out as a base oil. All of them do, regardless of the manufacturer. And then each manufacturer puts in their modifier um, or additives. So there's detergents, there's um, uh, all kinds of uh, acidic neutralizers uh, that are added to the base to create their specific formula for their brand. Um, when it's in a climate controlled store uh, in a plastic container, yes, I mean in your closet, in the garage, in your workshop, uh, having it in the container, it's fresh oil, it's not exposed to oxygen it's not exposed to any elements it's not getting freezing cold and freezing and uh, going through extreme heat cycles it's just in a plastic container sealed uh, and can last for years some will argue you shouldn't put in oil past five years um, I don't personally believe that but to each their own bottom line is it will last a long time in the sealed container um, when you add it to your engine however it gets exposed to all of the things I've already mentioned, especially here in southwestern Ontario. We've got extreme temperatures of cold and heat um, that the vehicle, whether it's driving or not, that oil is sitting in that engine, in that uh, aluminum engine, just sitting there. And uh, the temperatures drop. It gets extremely cold out at night in the wintertime. And you can get moisture buildup uh, inside of the engine. Um, through condensation. It's a simple fact. Um, you driving the vehicle short distances, uh, especially in the cold, the engine is designed to run richer uh, because it's colder, so it needs more fuel. And if you're doing a short run, you're using a lot of fuel in a short period of time for what would be deemed normal. So you're adding um, fuel to the oil as well. A very minute amount, but eventually it will um, cause the breakdown of the oil, uh, of these additives, as mentioned. Um, checking your oil used to be simple as pulling your dipstick and looking at it, and if it was black, hey, I need an oil change. Now we've got uh, the oil life monitors in most vehicles that are based on an algorithm of the start and driving style of the vehicle. Uh, very complicated in some vehicles. Uh, it knows exactly your routine and what kind of, uh, how much fuel you're using, if you're going on the highway, if you're idling in the city. And that's why your countdown monitor uh, or your oil life monitor uh, gives you the breakdown as far as how much percentage of oil life you have left. Uh, 10%, 5%, whatever. And then it'll come up with a little insignia saying, hey, change my oil. Um, most service providers, much like ourselves, will say, should get your oil changed if you're doing full synthetic oil changes every twice every year. So we like to say when you're putting your tires on in the spring, get your oil changed. When you're putting your tires on in the fall, get your oil changed. Because doing an oil change is a lot less money than replacing an engine. Especially when we're dealing with a high-end vehicle such as a BMW or Audi who also uses the countdown. And you need a scanner to reset the oil life monitor. Um, yeah, it's cheaper to do the oil change than replace major components or the engine itself. So, yes, that is why uh, the oil life has an expiry date. It's not really an expiry date. It's guidance for you to let you make the decision as the vehicle owner. Hey, this quick lube oil change is telling me six months. This guy in Oakville is telling me six months. Uh, whether you choose to do it or not, it's up to you. But uh, caution, words of caution to the wise, just change your oil when you need to and uh, 
if you're unsure, pass by. Anytime, 886 Winston Churchill. Be happy to check the oil for you, give you advice. Worst comes to worst, check your owner's manual because the manufacturer knows best and will tell you when the time is to change your oil. But as far as expiry dates on oil, hope this answered the question. Urban Automotive, safety first. Please hit subscribe to like our videos and feel free to share. We'd love to have uh, you provide us with any questions that you have that we can do more videos like this to help spread the word of education. Have a great day, guys.